Hello everyone, in this video, we'll talk about problems involving combinations with restriction or conditions. So, let us have item number 1. A box contains 5 red balls, 7 green balls, and 6 yellow balls. In how many ways can 6 balls be chosen if there should be 2 balls of each color? So now, identify the value of N or the number of items. So we have, of course, red, green, and then yellow. For red, we have N is equal to 5. For green, we have N is equal to 7. For yellow, we have N is equal to 6. And the next, identify natin what is R. So, ilang kulay ang kailangan natin per color. So, we have red, green, and yellow. So, each color, we need 2 balls. Originally, ang R natin is 6. Ang R natin ay 6. But, we have to separate it or Divide it into three colors, red, green, yellow, and those are two balls each color. So, mangyari, R is equal to 2 for red, R is equal to 2 for green, and R is equal to 2 for yellow. Total of 6. Okay? Now, let us solve using combination. Combination of 5 taken to since N and R times combination of 7 taken to times combination of 6 taken to. Now, what is combination of 5 taken to? Diba, tinuro ko yan sa inyo na yung R is 2, dalawang line from last lesson natin. And then start from 5, so 5, then minus ka ng 1, 4. Multiply natin, 5 times 4, divided by 2 factorial. And 2 factorial, that is 2, times 1. Okay? The next, times, combination of 7 taken 2, that is, of course, 7 ulit, ay dalawa, 2 lines, Start from 7, 7 times 6 minus 1 yon, And then divided by 2 factorial is 2. Kasi 2 times 1. And then multiply ulit natin kay combination of 6 taken 2. So dalawang lines ulit. We have 2 lines. Start from 6. Then multiply mo. Minus 1 is 5. Divided by 2 factorial ulit yung R. So, that is 2. Okay, now, what is 5 times 4? That 20 divided by 2. So, that is equal to 20 divided by 2. Times 7 times 6 divided by 2. So, 42 divided by 2. Times 6 times 5, 30, divided by 2. So, that is equal to 10 times 21 times 15. And that is equal to 3,150. So, again, 10 times 21 is 210 times 15, 3,150. So, there are 3,150 ways in order for you to choose two balls in each color. So now, let us have item number 2. Since item number 1, we have 3,150. Now, let us have item number 2. In how many ways can a committee of 5 be formed from 5 juniors and 7 seniors if the committee must have 2 seniors? So again, let us identify the values of 
N. So, juniors and seniors. For junior, N is equal to 5. And senior, N is equal to 7. Now, committee must have two seniors. So, R is equal to 2. And then, of course, we need five committees. Since we have two seniors already, so, ang junior na lang ay natitra ay tatlo. So, R is equal to 3. So, again, if there must have two seniors, since we need five committees, so, ang juniors ay tatlo. Now, let us solve combination of 5 taken 3. So, juniors ay 5. Tatlo ang kailangan mo. Then, times combination of 7 seniors taken 2. Okay, now, ano nga ulit yung combination natin? So, get mo yung R. So, meron kang tatlong lines. 1, 2, 3. Start ka kay 5 times 4 times 3. Minus 1 ka lang. Okay? And then divide mo kay R factorial. So that is 3 factorial. Then times combination of 7 taken 2. So 2 lines. Start ka kay 7 and then 6. Okay? Then I divide kay 2 factorial yung R. Now, solve natin. 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Okay? So, this one, 5 times 4 times 3, 20 times 3, 60. 60 divided by 6 times... So, 7 times 6 is 42 divided by 2. So, that is equal to 60 divided by 6, 10, times 42 divided by 2 is 21. 10 times 21, that is equal to 210. So, there are 210 ways in choosing 5 committee wherein 2 are seniors. So, let us have another one. If there are five distinct points on a plane with no three of which are collinear, so hindi raw nasa isang nine, magkakaibang point, iwahiwalay. How many different polygons can be possibly formed? So, kung i-coconnect natin yung distinct points, ilang polygons kaya magagawa natin? So, now, let us identify the value of n. So, n is equal to 5. From these five points, Ano yung mga polygons na pwede nating magawa? So, we can form triangle. And then, quadrilateral with four sides. Okay? And then, of course, we can form also a pentagon. With five sides or vertices. So, ang R natin dito is equal to 3. Ang R natin dito is equal to 4. At ang R natin dito is equal to 5. So, hanggang pentagon lang ang kaya nating mabuo kasi we have only 5 distinct points. We cannot form hexagon. Okay? Kapag hexagon, 6 vertices na yun. So, 6 points na ang kailangan mong connect So, since we only have 5 points, so hanggang pentagon lang tayo. At ang una nating polygon na pwedeng mabuo doon ay triangle. We can connect 3 points there. That's why R is equal to 3, R is equal to 4, and R is equal to 5. Now, let us solve the combination. In this case, addition ang gagawin mo. So, combination of 5. So, yung n natin. 
taken 3. So, ito, triangle. Okay? Plus, so, ilang triangle meron tayo? And then, ilang quadrilateral? So, quadrilateral, combination of 5 taken 4. So, ilang quadrilateral? And then, next, plus, ilang pentagon? Okay? So, combination of 5 taken 5. So, ito yung pentagon natin. Ayan. Okay? So, 5 taken 3. So, same arin. Process natin. Tatlong lines. Start kayo 5. 5, 4, 3. Then, multiply. And then, divide mo kay 3 factorial. Yung R. And then, plus... Combination of 5 taken 4. So, nabawas lang ang isa. Automatic, that is 5. That is equal to N. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan ikapakita yung 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, matitira rin dyan ay 5. And then, plus. So, kapag pareho, N and R, that is equal to 1. Okay? So, no need to solve. Combination of 5 taken 5. Basta pareho yung N and R, 1 yon. Pag isa lang nabawas kay, kay N, that is N. Okay? So, next. 5 times 4 times 3, that is 60. Divided by 6. Since 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So, that is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 1. So, therefore, there are 16 polygons. Using 5 distinct points, we have 16 polygons. 10 triangles, 5 quadrilaterals, and 1 pentagon. So, I hope you learned from this video and if you learn, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa bagong video.